Okay, Sean, one month from today, the skies will turn dark in the middle of the afternoon as one small sliver of Michigan will see a total solar eclipse. In fact, check out this map we have from NASA. You see the patch of the eclipse is going to go right across the Michigan-Ohio border. Oh. at Luna Pier. Megan Woods made a visit as preparations are well underway. Uh, we'll have to hope the weather isn't like what we're seeing today, of course, Megan. Of course, Devin Kimberly, we spoke to the mayor of Luna Pier and he is so excited for this solar eclipse, but it couldn't have come at a worse time. So he tells us they have safety concerns and they feel like they can't welcome as many people as they would have liked to and take a look as to why. We really were planning on having some kind of celebration just with our name, with just being in the path is is fantastic. That's how excited Luna Pier Mayor Jim Gardner and the rest of the city are for this solar eclipse. But there's a wrench in those celebration plans. Everybody needs to know that it's going to get a little cozy here and that traffic is going to be a problem. All thanks to this. Construction on this I-75 overpass right outside the city. It's going to be twice as wide as the other one. The other one was just two lanes, no room for pedestrians or bicycles. This one's going to have a bicycle and pedestrian lane separated from traffic. So we're excited about the project. It's just the timing is less than ideal and it poses safety concerns regarding how many people they can manage. Getting into the city is not really very hard, but getting back out again is a little more challenging, especially if you try to get a lot of cars leaving at the same time and getting on I-75 going northbound with lane closures also. We are coordinating with other police departments, with our fire department, with our emergency manager. Our police chief is really taking the lead on that and contacting other agencies to stand by because we don't know how many we're going to get. And again, they know the crowds or the amount of people that will show up all depends on the weather. And even though they aren't planning a celebration for the solar eclipse, they are welcoming people to a festival that happens in the summer. And by then the construction will be finished and they're expecting that construction to be done by July. Reporting live, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Really cool. All right, Megan.